Previously on Brickverse. Why don't I have a tail? Scooby, tell them how you lost your tail. I don't remember. Someone get me up to speed. Someone's stealing people's tails. <gasps> uh, there's some sort of interference. Execute order 64. Huh? Uh, skeletons, my one weakness. It's me, I hired Sans to steal the tail. <laughs> yes, I was the mastermind behind it all. <gasps> you guys, everyone's been attacked by... <gasps> oh no! Here comes Bonnie! And now, Brickverse Episode 4. But first, what happened to our other heroes? Oh man, this jail stinks. There's no TV. I can't go fast in here at all. I gotta go fast, I gotta! Calm down, I have a very intricate and ingenious plan to get us out of here. Charizard, smash this wall. Yeah, that's right, smash it up real good. Nice try, but those walls are calcium fortified. They're indestructible. Darn those skeletons and their superior bone health. Batman, don't you have some gadgets that can help us? Uh, well, I've got my grappling hook, my batarang, my shrink ray, my granola bar for in case I get hungry, my giant zipper, my suction cups. Hold on, did you say shrink ray? Yeah, but I've already thought about it. If we shrink the jail, it's only gonna get more claustrophobic. No, we shrink ourselves and then slip out between the bars. Whoa, yeah, that's perfect. Hey, are you talking about using a shrink ray to shrink yourselves and escape from the jail in there? Uh, no, we're just talking about... Quick, Batman, shrink us! <laughs> Rats! I guess we'll never know what they were talking about. It worked. Now we just have to get out of here and then unshrink ourselves. Uh, hold on. You didn't say anything about unshrinking before. Well, it was implied. Well, I thought it was implied that my shrink ray only shrinks. It doesn't unshrink. You mean we're stuck like this? Oh, please. You were stuck as one size your whole life before this. You've been tiny for like two seconds and now you're already sick of it? Ugh, shut up. <laughs> Princess Bubblegum will know how to fix this. We have to find her, and fast. Say no more. So this is it, huh? I'm just gonna get stomped on by a big foot. That's how it ends for Princess Bubblegum. All I wanted to do was solve a mystery. Help a poor little dog find his tail, and a poor little fox, and a poor little... Sonic? Now that I think about it, what's going on with that one? Is Tails dead? We were pretty blasé about that whole thing. Well, we're all gonna be dead in a second, so whatever. Ugh, no, I can't think like that. Nobody's gonna burst in and save us. I have to come up with an intricate and ingenious plan to get us out of here. Think, PB, think. Wait! <laughs> hey, I'm bursting in and saving you! Come with me if you want to live! Quick, into this portal! Smashy, 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 smash. Is everybody okay? Welcome to the post-apocalyptic wasteland! Make yourself at home! Where are we? Who are you? Obviously, that's Mangle. Yes, but also, I'm you! What? You're Chica? And you, Foxy! What? Roxy is Chica? No, I'm Chica. As am I. And I am too? No, you're Foxy, which is also what I am. You're Foxy? I'm Mangle. Wrangle is Roxy? And Chica. I'm confused. No, you're Foxy. I think I'm understanding. No, you're Princess Rumrum. Correct. And you're Scooby-Doo, and Mangle is Chica and Foxy in the post-apocalyptic future who have fused into one being. Right, that's what I said. Now, let me explain why I brought you here. Before you do, could you just clear up one thing for me? What is your gender? Really? You're in a post-apocalyptic wasteland and that's your most pressing question? Yes. <sighs> I'm gender fluid. Some days I'm a man, some days I'm a woman, other days I'm neither. But I'm always mangled! Chazzits! So, why did you bring us here? Because I can fix everything! Really? Yes, let's walk back to my house and I'll tell you my plan. If this is the future, why don't you have a flying car? I had a flying car, but it's broken and I can't fix it. Now remember, Bubblegum might think we're flies and try to swat us with a fly swatter, so keep your guard up. I don't have to keep my guard up, I'm too fast to swat. Okay, I'll keep my guard up. Huh, maybe we could write her a note on her computer. She'll be sure to see that. 
What you are witnessing right now is some sort of giant purple rabbit wreaking havoc upon our city, smashing buildings, swatting down helicopters, and I'm getting word that it even kicked a hot dog stand into a tree. No, the hot dogs will get dirty. You guys, that's Bonnie. Doesn't ring a bell, he's my friend. Why would you be friends with a giant monster? The giant monster aspect is new. We have to stop him, but how? I know. We can use Batman's shrink ray to shrink him back down. But we left Batman behind? And whose fault is that? Oh, I guess it's my fault. I kicked him into the air like he was just a hot dog stand. Oh, this is all my fault. I'm a monster. I knew it. Maybe if we fly close to one of Bonnie's ears, I can talk some sense into him. Sonic. See if you can track down Batman and his shrink ray. Why should I trust a monster who's friends with other monsters? You don't have to, just find Batman, and fast! Uh, okay. Okay, Charizard, yip yip. Is everyone comfy? Does anyone need anything? Can I have a glass of water? There's rusty nails everywhere. The post-apocalyptic future has no water and a lot of rusty nails. Sorry. What's this plan? Okay, so remember how I'm Chica and Foxy? That happened after Giant Bonnie smashed the city, specifically after he smashed you two. Due to the excessive force applied by Bonnie's lucky rabbit foot, your parts and programming were combined, fused into one superior being, me. Chica is Foxy? No, we're not doing that again. Okay, that makes sense. But how does that help us defeat Giant Bonnie in the past? You weren't the only ones that were smashed. The whole world was smashed. Rusty nails went flying everywhere. I believe that some other beings, even more powerful than Giant Bonnie, were created through the same fusion process that created me. Jazz hands. So where is Giant Bonnie now? He's in space, smashing space stuff. Wow, I sure am glad all that stuff got sorted out with my dad, Darth Vader, or Clayface, or President Business, or whoever he ended up. Is this the end for the Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. So the plan is, we're gonna find one of these big, powerful beings in the future, and then take it back to the past and have it fight Giant Bonnie? Basically, yeah! Hey, I just time traveled here to tell you that time travel is always a bad idea. Look what happened to Morty. Hello. You should see the other guy. All right, good luck, you know, with whatever this is. Bye. Huh, I don't know, this seems pretty risky. It is, but Foxy, it's the only way to save the world and the only way to reveal the truth about your tale. <gasps> My tale? I almost forgot. Yeah, the stakes of saving the world really eclipse that one. But they are inextricably linked. Come, there's no time to waste. This stinks. I'm small, and everyone's mad at me, and there's no TV. Batman, there you are! Whoa, Sonic, how'd you find me? I heard some loud crying and followed the sound. Uh, that was... that must have been somebody else. Do you still have your shrink ray? I shrink so. Yes. All right, hop on my back. We've got important work to do. There's Giant Bonnie. Charmander's art. Fly down into his ear. Huh, it's pretty roomy in here. What? Who said that? You can hear me? Bonnie, it's me, Freddy! I'm not Bonnie, I'm William Afton. I had a whole reveal about that last episode. Oh. Why are you in my ear? Well, I was going to remind you of all the good times we had. Play to your emotion, cut to some flashbacks, that sort of thing. Maybe end with a, remember who you are, Bonnie? Right, well, I'm not Bonnie, so... Yeah, it's all kind of moot now. Okay, I'm gonna go back to smashing things. Wait! Whee! Well, here we are. That just looks like a big pile of Lego. Actually, I think I see some Mega Constructs pieces in there, so the correct term would be a big pile of interlocking construction bricks. Chica is right, and is also annoying, and is also me, so therefore, I allow it. Underneath this pile is a very, very strong fighting machine, waiting to be activated. Well, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for you, Foxy! Uh huh? Foxy, you are the key to bringing this power to life because you are your tail. What? 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 Mamma mia! It's true! You see, animatronics essentially reproduce via budding. Sometime in the past, your parent had a tail, and when the time was right, removed it and buried it. 
After a gestational period, it emerged from the ground as you. Why don't I remember any of that? Nobody remembers their own birth, except me! And I described mine in vivid detail to you earlier. So, if Foxy doesn't have a tail, does that mean he has a kid somewhere? No, there can only be one Foxy at a time. But what about Funtime Foxy? Totally different. Actually, I think they use the same mold. Totally different! Well, how do I save the world? Because you technically are a foxtail, you can enact the same ancient prophecy that Bonnie did. Whoa! But it would mean sacrificing your life. Oh. But it would mean saving the world! Right. Hmm. I always help a friend in need, and now the whole world is in need. I'll do it! Yay! Yay! Very good. Now get in that pile. Where? Wow, we sure are a long way from cannon. That's true. Now, everybody get into this cannon. I'm going to shoot us back into the past. Smashing, smashing. Oh, I love smashing. Oh. There he is. Get me close and I'll shrink him. Smashing, smashing. Ready? Aim. Fire! Huh? No! What'd you do? You ruined everything! Quick! Shrink Bonnie! It's out of battery! <laughs> no! Foxy! We're roomed! I think our friends are out there. We have to get to them! Charizard, smash through this wall! Whoa! I'm losing my balance! Quick, close it up. I'll use my giant zipper. <laughs> yes! What'd you do? You fixed everything. All in a day's work. What? There's nothing left here to smash at all. It's all already smashed. Ouch! And there's rusty nails everywhere. This is the worst place for me to be. Ouch, 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 ouch. Come on, everybody. Let's go back to my lab and I'll unshrink us all. Yay! Yay! But what about Foxy? He did what he had to do. Well, not really. In fact, he probably did the least out of anyone. The Megazord didn't even really do that much. Hmm. Yeah. I guess the moral of the story is, the most important thing is always your friends. What? Rerun. Can somebody please tell me what this dog is saying? Oh, where am I? Hey, want to have post-apocalyptic adventures with me? Okay. Hooray! And that's how I saved the world from Bonnie Trap, Aftonzilla. But that's just a story. A brick! That's not what happened at all. You're just making stuff up. Rats, because he's not really Rat Pat. Let me pull off his mask. <gasps> oh my, Scott, it's the creator. I have so many questions for you. Gotta go fast. How does Map World fit into the timeline? Let me know. <gasps> Samwise, I just had the most confusing dream. Shh, don't worry, my love. You're safe here in our bedroom. Just go back to sleep. So what you're saying is, the Brickverse timeline has split into three different distinct timelines. This one, where we defeated Bonnie before he smashed the world. A second, post-apocalyptic one, where there are now two giant Bonnies smashing the universe because we sent the one from the past there. And a third timeline where Frodo just woke up? Mm-hmm. That's really confusing. We need a wiki or something. I told you not to mess with time travel. Wubba lubba dub dub. Hey everybody, that's the end of this episode. We really drew it out there at the end, but it's over now. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Brick 101, and watch our other Brick First episodes. Wubba lubba dub dub.